All right, so welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn about the role of a project manager or project implementer and what are the qualities a project manager or implementer should possess to execute projects successfully. Okay, so now you know about the project, you know about the project management. Let's look about what are the roles you're going to play as a project manager or as a project implementation consultant. So the role of the project manager or implementer, the first thing is the project manager or implementer is a person who is responsible for achieving the project's objectives successfully. Now the important word here is responsible. Now the project manager or the implementation person is the person who takes responsibility. Okay, so it's important for you to be responsible and take the ownership of the project. If it is success, then you celebrate your success along with your team, give credit to the team that because without team, you can't execute the project successfully. And if the project fails, then it's your responsibility to take the ownership of the failure that because of you, the project could not get done. Now, it can be due to the team was not there, the team did not work well, or the activities, the client was not good. But the responsibility is, is very, very critical here. And the person who takes responsibility becomes a great project manager. So it's important for a project manager or implementer to be responsible for achieving the project objective successfully. Now, the important thing here is project objectives successfully. So when the project objectives are meet, the project completes and it is successful. Okay, so this is the role. The next is the project manager or implementer should have a very good understanding of all the phases of a project. It means that what are the different types of phases the project will go through and the project type. Because when we start a project, the project manager should know that this is the right type of project they are choosing based on the nature of the customer requirements or the customer project, right? So it is important for the project manager or project implementation consultant to know the complete phases of the project. So you should know all the phases. Also, what are different types of projects so that they can choose that what is going to be the best project type to execute this kind of project. And finally, the project manager or project implementation consultant should have good knowledge and should be a performance expert and should have personal attitude to achieve project objectives. Now, it is important to have good knowledge. Okay, so good knowledge about the tools, skills and techniques. So you're going to learn about the tools. You will have the templates and you learn about the different type of projects. You learn about the phases of the project. So you will have good knowledge. You should be performance expert, right? You should make sure that the project is moving in the right direction with the right speed. And that comes with basically improving on different areas of the project. And we are not going to cover into performance experience or performance expertise of the project, but it is very must to have. And also it is important to have personal attitude towards achieving the project objectives. Now, if the project manager has taken the project and uh, feeling that, yeah, I'm a project manager, it feels good, he or she doesn't have the attitude of meeting the project objective. If he or she is not serious about the meeting the project objectives, then the project will fail. It's important that there should be personal attitudes that matches with the project objectives. So now let's look at what are the interpersonal skills a project manager or project implementation consultant should have. So the project manager or implementation consultant should possess leadership and motivation. You should be able to lead team in the same direction that you want to go with. Okay, so you become a leader and move in the direction where the project is going to be successful. And you should keep motivating your team. You should celebrate their success. You should appreciate them if they do a really great job and you should give them motivation, right? They should not feel like, oh, I'm working hard, but nobody's caring about me. So it's important that you lead them and you motivate them that they feel involved and they feel included in the project and the team will make you the success in the project. The next is a team building. So when you get a project, it's important for you to learn how to build a team. If the team is not there, then what kind of skills they need to execute the project successfully? You create a charter for the competence development. You teach them what are the things they need to learn. You can either teach them, you can either get them trained outside or if there's any training program that you have in your company you need to get them competent one is the competency skill knowledge the other is the connection within the team 
Now, within the team, there should not be any conflicts. If there is any conflict, then it should be sorted out and communicated very clearly. Okay, so it's very important for a project manager to learn the skills of team building. Next is communication. It is the key in the project. Whether it's a communication with the stakeholders, the management, or the customer, or the team, or within the team between the team members. It is very important. Now, if there's some loophole or if there's some mistake that has happened, then it's important to communicate as soon as possible so that it doesn't impact the project and other things, right? So the communication is the key and the communication should be very clear. It should be in the written format. It should be very clear. When you commit for some work to be done, it should be in written and um, it should be signed off. It should be mutually agreed between the two parties, okay? So it is very important for a project manager, project implementation consultant to have clear communication with the team and the different stakeholders of the project. The next is the decision making. Now, of course, when you start implementing projects, when you start managing project, you will need to make decisions. And if you are not good at decisions, then you need to learn this skill. It's a learnable skill. So when you make decision, it basically shows that you are a leader and you know what you are doing. Okay, and you should take decisions by all the things considering the logical aspects as well as sometimes you need to make sure that can we take some uh, additional work from the customer to make sure the customer is happy and they give us more business. Now, these are the different types of decision making you need to consider and it's intuitive. It's not, it doesn't come with by learning. It comes by doing the things. Okay, so when you start making decisions, sometimes you will make bad decisions. Sometimes it will fail, but it's a good learning but don't stop making decisions as a project manager or implementation consultant this is one of the key skill you should have the next is the negotiation so when you're working for a big company and when you have given a project it's important for you to negotiate well negotiate for resources negotiate for budget or for the project negotiate for the timelines to make sure that you are comfortable executing the project right so you should be a good negotiator in terms of resources in terms of money in terms of team and in terms of timelines and the discussion with the customer okay so be a good negotiator also the conflict management you should be able to manage conflicts and resolve conflicts as and when it arrives now most people run away from the conflict management they don't want to confront anyone because they may feel bad or the other person thinks what they will think about me if I say that I don't like this thing or you're doing it wrong, right? But as a project manager, it's your job and responsibility to call it in middle and make sure that all the conflicts that you have within the team or that you have with any team member or the management should be resolved immediately. Because if it is not going to be resolved, then it is going to impact the project and finally the performance of a project manager or the team right so it's very important to have a good conflict management skills and finally the project manager should possess coaching skills now when you are executing projects you don't just act as a project manager you just find out the resources or the people the team members who are capable of growing who are hungry for growth and find those people and start coaching them so that they can take your position and you can move up now most of the people think that if I teach someone certain things, then uh, they will take my job and I may not have the job again. <laughs> but that's not the case. When you teach someone, they grow up to your level. It means it's time for you to grow, right? You have learned a new skill called coaching, which they may not have. And that particular one skill, which you have used them to make them a project manager or project leader, that basically give you a next level approach. And then you can move into program management and finally the portfolio management in your company or organization. So coaching is a very important skill. Now coaching, it doesn't have to be like just teaching. It's like coaching is asking people a lot of questions because coaching involves a lot of questions. People know answer. You just need to ask the questions in a certain way so that they come up with the answers and they are clear in their mind. Okay, so these are some of the skills the project manager or project implementation consultant should possess. If you don't have any of these or if you are afraid of no, can I learn these things? Let me tell you, these can be learned. Okay, and the first step for you is to start learning these things. Okay, there is never the right time to learn, but there is always a right time to learn. 
okay so start learning some things about take a book and start reading about the book start reading about the topics that you have here like communication or team building or decision making or negotiation or different areas of the project management so this is what about the project manager the role of the project manager and what skills a project manager or the project implementation consultant should possess so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video tutorial